What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jamara Lee and my channel is all about helping you guys grow or start your marketing agency or e-commerce store. Now for those who are new to my channel, I'm actually gonna inform you guys, I actually run my own e-commerce marketing agency as well as my own e-commerce store, which is why I will be sharing with you tips and strategies on how to grow your online business. So if you like the sound of that, then be sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a huge thumbs up and hit that notification bell so that you guys are notified of each and every time that I post. Now, as you guys can tell by the title of the video, in today's video, Video, I will be sharing with you how you guys can increase your store's revenue by increasing your traffic. Now, in one of my previous videos, I actually broke down three ways that you guys can actually increase your either your clients or your store's online revenue. However, within this video, this video is solely just pertaining to one of those ways, which is how to increase your traffic. Now, I'm just going to jump right into the video. I want it to be quick because a few of the most recent videos that I have have been a, a little bit longer, so I'm going to try to make this as short as possible. However, I have a couple of notes here on my phone, which is exactly why you'll probably see me looking down at it just to keep myself on track here. So again, without further ado, let's just begin and let's start with the first way, which is how to increase your traffic to generate more revenue. Now, the first thing that you guys need to understand is that there are three types of campaigns that you guys need to be running at all times to your online store or to your client's online store. So this video is not only pertaining to those who run their own e-commerce store, but also pertains to those who actually run and manage paid advertising for their e-commerce clients. Now, those three campaigns that you need to be running or should be running at all times is your top of funnel campaign, your middle of funnel campaign, and your bottom of funnel campaign. Now, these are the three campaigns that, like I said, that you should be running on all times. And now I'm gonna to explain to you what exactly each of those three campaigns target. Now, your top of funnel campaign targets your colder audience. And if you guys don't know what your cold audience is, or I've never heard of that, basically what your cold audience is are the consumers wandering the internet that have absolutely no idea that that your client's business even exists or your online store even exists they've never heard of it they have no idea who exactly that you are so you need to make sure that they are aware of who your business is what you guys do and what you guys sell as a product just in general and so with the top of funnel campaign this is doing exactly that they are creating awareness of your brand and will eventually get these people out of that cold that cold audience and move them up to your warmer audience now your middle of funnel campaign targets those who have actually previously engaged with your business brand your products previously now what i mean by this is these are the consumers that have probably came across your instagram one of your social media platforms clicked on your website link wandered around your website hasn't actually purchased yet or taken a buying action such as adding maybe a product to their cart but kind of bounced off of your website and probably went to another website and just kind of forgot about you however They've engaged with your brand, so they've came in across you. They found you somewhere, somehow. They probably have given your social media account a follow or your YouTube channel a follow or whatever account that you have a follow because, again, they came across your brand. Maybe they weren't ready to actually purchase from you just yet, whether or not they weren't sold by whatever it is that they came across or they, maybe they didn't have the funds at the moment. However, they came across your brand and business, they've engaged with it, and they've probably left you either a follow. Now your last campaign is your bottom of funnel campaign. Now your bottom of funnel campaign targets those who have actually taken a buying action, but has not purchased yet. So what I mean by this is these are the people, your bottom of funnel campaign and that audience, these are the people who already are aware of who you are as a business, what you sell, they've already gained your trust and they like what you have to put out. However, they went to your online store one of these days and they've added one of your products, whatever it is, to their cart, but they just haven't actually made the purchase yet. So your bottom of funnel campaign targets exactly those people. Now, the main reason as to why this is so important to understand is because you have to tailor the way that you are speaking to those consumers, depending on what stage they're in. So depending on whether they're at the top of funnel, in the cold stage, they're in the middle of funnel, at the warmer stage, or at the bottom of funnel, which is like, these are your hot leads. These are the people who are ready to buy. And a great example of this, and the best way for me to explain this to you, is you're not gonna speak to someone who you just met the same way that you speak to a best friend of yours who you've known for several years. So when you actually understand that whole concept, you should understand that we should not be doing the same thing online either. 
Now, another thing moving on before you actually make your ads and your campaigns to target these, you know, specific audiences, you also have to understand who your ideal clients are, what problems they are facing and how does your product solve that problem for them? Because once you know those three specific things, you can actually craft your ads around the problems your customers are facing around the solution that your products bring to the table, who your ideal clients is and their pain points that they're going through. And the reason as to why you want to create your ads around that is because this will actually allow your consumers to connect with your ads, your brand and products at a much deeper level and feel much more understood and connected to you. And this works especially well at the top of funnel campaign. Now moving on to the middle of funnel campaign, like I said before, these are the people who have previously engaged with your business and brand. So they already know of you and they like you, you know, like I said, going back to what I was explaining to you before, the people within your middle of funnel campaign, these are the people who have already came in across you. They've kind of surpassed that colder audience because they've, you know, they came in across you before. They already know of your brand and business, but they're not actually sold by what you have to offer just yet. However, they like, you know, the concept, your products, maybe your feed or whatever it is. They're compelled to like you. So they already know of you and they like you. Now, the best ads for these audience and this specific audience, your middle funnel campaign, the best ads for this audience are user generated content and creative such as testimonials and reviews before and after pictures. And the reason why is because going back to what I said, they're not necessarily sold yet. They like you and they know of you, but because they're not necessarily sold yet, they're currently battling a, like a like a trust issue. They're, they're currently battling with this trust hump and factor that they need to get over and the way that they're going to get over that and you know surpass that is by showing this specific audience testimonials your reviews your before and after pictures and people actually using your product or within your product because that will actually help them and that specific audience get over that trust hump and factor that they're currently battling with before actually taking the next step and purchasing your product now on to the last campaign your bottom of funnel campaign will always be your most profitable assets because again this audience has already surpassed the you know the cold audience part They've gotten out of that stage. They know of you. They like your brand. They've given you that follow. They've been following you for a long time. However, now they've made a buying decision. You somehow won their trust over. So they've made a buying decision with you and they've added something of yours to their cart, but they just haven't purchased from you yet. So the way that you get this specific audience and how you actually convert them is by going super offer heavy, because at this point, like I said, everybody within this audience already knows of you. They like what you have to offer. They know your business. They trust in you. However, they just simply need some sort of incentive, like a great offer to get them to actually purchase from you right now. So with that being said, that actually completes this video. It was very short, sweet, and simple. And I hope that you have a better understanding of the types of campaigns, the three main types of campaigns that you guys need to be running at all times for whether it's one of your e-commerce store clients or your own e-commerce store, if you have the funds to actually advertise and run campaigns. These are the three campaigns that you guys need to be running at all times to your clients or your own e-commerce store to increase your traffic, which will then in turn generate more revenue. So with that being said, I'm just gonna conclude this video right here. I hope that you guys found this helpful and valuable and enjoyed this video and if you guys did please be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up comment down below on what you guys would like to see next subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already and as always thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching my videos and i will see you guys in my next one bye